football program. Ten cards selected in the draft. Second to only Florida State's 11 selections. Exciting weekend for those Cardinals. Hey, hey everyone, welcome. Shea Pepler, Doug Chapman, Pete Futek here with you. Guys, let's focus on those former Cardinals. Doug, to you first here, which player landed on the right team in the NFL? I think the Jets going and getting Lorenzo Malden in the third round. They need an edge rusher. Uh, they went and got Leonard Williams in the first round. You throw him into that defensive front with Wilkerson, Richardson, Harrison, mix him in there. You or me could go out there and get a sack because there's so much attention uh, focused on those big guys up front. They're going to have one of the best defense. They call that front the Sons of Anarchy. You got Rivas and Cromartie on the back end. He's a young man. He had a good career there at Louisville. Your defensive end, linebacker, they stood him up. Very active. He doesn't have to come in and do too much. Can learn from those older guys. Should have a good rookie year. Yeah, very versatile player. A few to you now. Was there a player on this Louisville squad, formerly on this Louisville squad, that did not hear his name called that could make an impact. Yeah, the level. thing about this draft, yeah, they got 10 players drafted, but under the Devontae Parker, a lot of these guys are going to have to fight just to make the team. It's not like you got a lot of stars here, a lot of late-round picks. One guy who didn't go that I really still like is Michael Dyer. I know there are problems off the field. I know he didn't stick at Auburn, Arkansas State, and now Louisville. There were always some sort of issues, but now he's in the NFL. Guys like Bryce Brown, you know, sometimes you get these guys who just don't quite make it in college get to the NFL, and they become very productive. Not their professional, and now I can just focus on football. He's not going to be a superstar, but maybe for a few games here and there, he can rock. Yeah, he picked up at, at Auburn. He had first-round draft pick written all over him. Yep. Had some issues. He can get somewhere and stick. I think he's got potential to start in the NFL. Yeah, interesting case. Of course, risky business, as always. Doug Chapman, Pete Butek, thanks so much for the time. Stay here on Campus Insiders. We talk about the Oklahoma Sooners, where they went in the NFL, and how they'll fare at the next level. That's only right here on CampusInsiders.com.